Today, we're going to be talking about Gua. That's right, guys. So, please, just stay tuned for the five-second intro, and uh, we're about to get started talking about Cuba, the land of my peoples. Actually, this is the land of my peoples. But what the fuck do I know? I'm fucking, I'm out here in Mexico. All right, stay tuned for more. Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to a very special episode where I'm going to be talking about Cuba. Yeah, that's right. Cuba. There's no intro with the horse today. We're just talking about Cuba. All right. In fact, as you guys can see, I have removed the Mexican flag temporarily and have replaced it with a Cuban flag. And, uh, you know, I got the American flags all pissed off about it. Uh, whatever. Anyways. <laughs> guys, thank you so much for joining me today. As always, you already know the deal. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you guys. You guys are the best. And, uh, you know, today we're going to be talking about Cuba. Now, I am recording this episode ahead of time. As you guys already know, I, I record episodes a lot of times ahead of time. Sometimes uh, I don't, but a good majority of the episodes you watch, I already recorded a while ago. Sorry, i got to fix my, my bra strap here. But today's episode is basically for my fans out there. You know, my, my viewers, you know, every one of you guys that watch me all the time. And that's what this episode's about. It's just a bit of an update as uh, to what's up with me and uh, what's going on with me over here. And how does that pertain to Cuba? Well, I just came back from Cuba. Now, again, as you're watching this, I have still have yet to leave for Cuba. I'm leaving for Cuba. In fact, I left for Cuba for my birthday. So, as you guys are already know or fully aware, on Wednesday, September 18th, that was my birthday. I turned 38 years old. I know, I'm, I'm getting old, huh? Old fart over here. Um, and on that same day, I did a live stream and so on and so forth. But on the, 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 day after, the day after that, on September 19th, I left for Cuba. And um, I spent the whole weekend there. That was like kind of like my birthday gift to myself. I also had to renew my visa. But hey, that's besides the point, you know. I wanted to, uh, you know, go out there and uh, visit Cuba since I've never been to Cuba ever. And um, even though I was born in the United States of America and I'm American, my, both of my parents are actually Cuban and I've, I'm, you know, of Cuban heritage, Cuban blood. And uh, again, you know, I can just go to Cuba and become a Cuban citizen if I want to because I'm not that far removed from being a Cuban. Now, you know, that's not what I'm doing with that. But, but regardless. I'm making this episode because I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about my Cuba, uh, my Cuba trip and also um, just let you guys know what's coming down the pike. Now, I'm not sure when you're going to be watching this, if you're going to be watching this on a Sunday or maybe even on a Tuesday, um, but it's definitely going to be after I get back from my trip. So by the time you're watching this, I have already been back from my trip. So what can you be expecting as a viewer of my channel in the upcoming weeks? Well, guess what? I am taking my cameras. I'm taking as many, you know, um, disc or what is it? I'm taking as many memory cards with me and as much, uh, you know, stuff that I can take with me in order to transfer information over. So that way I can record as much as humanly possible. So that way, when I get back, by the time you're watching this, I'm already downloading you know all the information from my memory cards and uh, getting ready to start editing some Cuba videos that's right now as you guys already know uh, most of my channel um, especially when I started over a year and a half ago I was just talking about you know politics and talking about um, you know Bitcoin and just talking about all these other things but ever since I moved to Mexico and I've been doing some traveling and stuff um, I have actually been doing travel videos and um, I love doing those travel videos and you guys love making those travel <laughs> sorry you guys love when I make these travel videos and love watching them so you know I'm just made more so when this trip was you know came up uh, for me to go to Cuba to not just visit and check out you know, uh, where my parents came from, where my blood and heritage came from and stuff like that, um, I, I decided to, well, you already know what I decided to do. I decided to bring all my cameras and record as much as humanly possible so that way I have tons of content for you guys uh, to watch. So, um, by the, again, by the time you're watching this, I'm already back home and I'm already, you know, starting the editing process and uh, you can be expecting within the next uh, few weeks or few days, you know, depending on uh, how I get uh, to this and what wait, awaits me when I get back home, but you can definitely be expecting a lot of videos um, that, you know, per, you know, that, ah, sorry, you can definitely be expecting a lot of videos about my Cuba trip. 
Now, be, me, now I'm gonna give you my personal um, experience as a traveler to Cuba before I ever left for Cuba. So this video that you're watching now is again, the before. I haven't even left for Cuba yet. I'm recording this before I leave. And so me, I'm, I, I'm an American and I think a lot of you guys out there are Americans and there's a lot of misconceptions as to, you know, the whole traveling to Cuba as an American. Now, as you guys already know, there's a huge embargo um, against Cuba by the United States and it just, you know, makes life very, very difficult in Cuba, makes things uh, hard to get in Cuba. It just makes uh, life in Cuba very, very, very difficult on a day-to-day -day basis. And in fact, you know, we all hear all the stories, we all hear all the, you know, we see all the footage, we see all kinds of things about Cuba where it's great and wonderful and beautiful and it's one of those uh, places on earth that has le been left untouched for like the last 60 plus years, give or take. And it's kind of like, you know, traveling back in time and all the cool, awesome stuff that Again, I, I can't, I mean, me and, me and, uh, me and Chris, because by the way, Christian's coming with me. So me and Christian, you know, we've already been spending, you know, all our days together in advance of the trip, you know, literally planning out the trip, you know, like what museums we're going to go to, what neighborhoods we're going to visit, you know, um, all the things that we're going to go see and do um, and watching and, you know, just trying to educate ourselves as much as possible on Cuba. You know, pretty much the same ways that you guys watch a lot of my videos about Medina, Mexico, you know, as you start planning your trip or your or your move out here to Medina. So, you know, again, I've done the same in preparation for my Cuba trip. And uh, it's been very, very, very eyeball opening. It really has been. You know, one of the things, again, I'm just speaking to you as someone who has yet to travel there yet, okay? So, but just from before I started doing any research, I just had the misconceptions, you know, the same old uh, things in my head, that propaganda that most of us have, that, you know, things in Cuba are beyond dire, you know, everyone's starving, things are really terrible, blah, 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 you know, all the things that you hear. But after doing a lot of research, and in fact, coming across a bunch of other YouTubers that are Cuban born, so there's Cubans in Cuba born and raised that are actually doing YouTube and YouTube videos kind of like how I do my Medina videos and other people do their travel videos. Now, now most of you guys probably have not found them because they're strictly 100% in Spanish and you actually got to be looking for them because we kind of, you know, bumped into some of these vlogs kind of like by accident. And um, anyways, it was a very, very pleasant surprise because yeah, even though things are pretty hard in Cuba and Cuba, you know, it's not necessarily, you know, a first world country by any far stretch of the imagination, you know, things are not as bad or dire as you might think, you know, for reals, you know, they have, obviously we already know that they have great education. They got, you know, tons of uh, emphasis on, uh, on educating their people and knowledge and uh, you know they have tons of uh, museums they got tons of uh, you know art and culture and all kinds of amazing things that enhance the lives of humans you know again why Cuba is probably probably one of the best places on earth when it comes from a cultural life perspective okay now again we can discuss this all day long and um, I can't wait to visit Cuba myself so that I can have a little bit more insight and uh, hopefully this won't be the first and only trip it's just going to be the first of many trips that i'm going to be taking to cuba in the future but um i digress as i was watching a lot of these vloggers as i was watching a lot of uh um videos and a lot of uh you know doing a lot of research on cuba i was pleasantly surprised as to how cuba is doing now again guys you know granted i'm not i'm not trying to compare cuba to like the best city in the world or anything like that. I'm just trying to compare Cuba to like, I don't know, every other place on earth. And um, it's actually pretty, pretty, doing, you know, pretty good. And again, I can't wait to visit it myself and I can't wait to tell you guys all about it so you, so I can, we can really have some real world perspective, real 100% perspective on how it's out, you know, how things are out there. But, you know, from all the stuff that I was, I've been looking at and researching, you know, before I went out there, I was more going like a, like a pilgrimage, you know, kind of like one of those things where I'm going because I'm, you know, my family's Cuban, the Cuban heritage thing. I want to go out there and see, you know, where my parents came from, where my family came from, you know, just like that whole 
you know, again, the pilgrimage of just going to the, my homeland, you know, my parents' homeland and shit. But again, after doing a lot of research on uh, what to expect when going to Cuba, I was, again, pleasantly surprised. I'm like, oh, wow, this is going to be really fun, really awesome, really cool. It's not going to be as bad and dire and everyone's going to be starving on the street as I originally thought. It's actually not that bad. I mean, again, things are bad, but, you know. In comparison to, you know, I guess like when I was talking to my aunt and um, family members about this, you know, I was actually letting them know. I mean, I was actually, you know, conversing with them. And I'm like, yeah, if you compare it to before Castro came, you know, when Cuba was um, run by the mafia and, you know, things were great, you know, in that sense. And compared to now, yeah, of course, you know, um, obviously, you know, Cuba fell off the edge here. But, you know, in reality, you know, when you're com when I'm comparing Cuba to other parts of the world, even parts of Mexico and just other parts of Latin America or the world or Africa or whatever. It's like, you know, Cuba is actually doing pretty, pretty good, all right? Insert, um, insert Larry David here. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. So, I mean, for real. So again, I, and in fact, I'm so excited to go on my trip that I am making a video of my pre-trip, of my before trip, okay? So, now, let's talk a little bit about, um, I guess, the pre-trip, okay? What me, as a traveler, you know, what are the things that are concerning me as, as I'm, you know, traveling to Cuba? Well, number one, which I'm sure most of you guys already know of, is when you're going to Cuba, there's no internet. Now, again, we're going to figure that out when we get there, but as far as I know, internet is very, very, very hard to come by. So, you know, that's kind of like a pretty much of a, of a given, you know, we already kind of know that. But now let's talk about other things, you know, that I was pretty, you know, um, pretty taken aback by in the sense of like, you know, I, I kind of knew a little bit, but when I started researching some more, I was like pretty, you know, again, my jaw dropped because I had no idea. But okay, so what am I talking about here? The cost of going to Cuba. Now, the plane trip, pretty cheap. You know, certain things, pretty cheap, even the visa, came out to a Cuban visa, which I'm, I get at the airport, you know, um, they literally just give you the visa at the airport. It's around 25 US dollars, give or take. Okay, that's not bad at all. And you get it literally, like let's say that you're leaving from Merida to Cuba, because it's, again, if you're coming, if you're, if you're an American, it's very hard to fly straight to Cuba. I don't know if they still do that or not. I know it's been going back and forth with Obama and Trump and all this shit, I don't know. I haven't really even researched, you know, from a United States uh, of America perspective, but I'm just telling you as an American citizen's perspective, you know, my, uh, I'm sorry, I'm fixing the lighting here. You know, my, my own um, research, not my own research, but my own trials and tribulations. So for example, my girl, my girlfriend, she's Mexican. So she just gets a visa like that at the airport. No problem. What's she going for? Tourism, whatever. But me as an American, I cannot go as a tourist. So there's like these 12, um, options that I got to choose from. Now, I have yet to decide what I'm going to choose, but it's probably going to be visiting family because, well, yeah, I'm going to be visiting family when I get there as well. So, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to re re be recording the family visit or not. That's all going to be depending on them, but I am going to be doing that and um, that's probably going to be the reason I'm going to, you know, check on my visa as to why I'm visiting Cuba. But at the end of the day, if you're an American, you cannot go as a tourist. You have to go for humanitarian reasons, as a journalist, visiting family, all this other crap. So that's something that, again, it's a little bit of an extra hurdle as you know, you're going as an American, but again, from my research, that hurdle is really just put there by America, and meaning that you as an American citizen, me, us as an American citizen, this uh, whole situation with the visa is really just to prove to the US what the fuck we're doing there. But in reality, as far as I'm, I, I gather from all my information, Cuba doesn't really give a crap. That kind of stuff, you know what I mean? They just, um, you know, they just, you know, they want you to come to visit and that's it, you know what I mean? That kind of stuff, you know, as long as you're not doing anything stupid or shady or whatever. Speaking of which, yeah, you know, I'm, the only thing I am not looking forward to is the fact that I'm not going to be able to smoke my herbs over there because it's very anti-drug, very anti-MJ, very anti-oregano, I know, right? You would think. But that's definitely a lot of Cuban rum and definitely a lot of Cuban cigars, and you already know what's up. I'm going to get me some of both, all right? Now, I don't know if I can bring it back over here. I think I can. I, can, I think I can bring it back to Mexico. So, you know, I might be showing up with a bottle of rum and a bunch of uh, Cuban cigars, probably just one Cuban cigar, but regardless. The one thing I wanted to talk to you guys about, which I keep going in circles I haven't mentioned, is the fact that the one thing I was surprised about was the fact that how expensive Cuba's gonna be, all right? Now, everything runs on dollars. 
And um, as I was doing research and watching, you know, other tourists visit or even watching Cubans, you know, do regular Cuban stuff and just watching, you know, just doing the research of like how much these, uh, the taxis cost. So, you know, you guys know the classic cars, the typical classic car of Cuba, you know, just like our typical Uber ride, you know, our typical ride in one of those cars, you know, just to go a short distance is around 15 US dollars, 15 US dollars. So that's, you know, pretty much on par with a taxi or an Uber back in the United States or in a good majority of the developed world. So what, that along with other things. So when you're going to a lot of the tourist areas, I'm going to be staying in, La, in, in, in old Havana. So again, I'm staying, I'm staying right in the heart of old Havana, right in the heart of, um, you know, um, the most uh, historical place in all of Havana and Cuba. Um, but one thing that I've, um, you know, come to realize from my research is that everything is crazy expensive and everything is in dollars or euros. And um, I'm not gonna be doing a, a, a video on, you know, things to do when traveling to Cuba or the things of what to do, what not to do, anything like that. I'm not gonna do any of that until I get back from Cuba, assuming I even do any of those videos. But regardless, um, things are expensive. You know, um, they're not crazy expensive. It's not Dubai by any far stretch of the imagination, but they're actually more expensive than they are in Mexico by far. In fact, they're closer to US prices than than uh, anywhere, than, you know, or Argentinian prices or whatever, you know what I mean? Just regular US dollar prices than, uh, than um, then what do you call it? Then 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 out here in Mexico with pesos. So with that being said, you know, if they're obviously getting paid in dollars and they have more of a dollar economy, and by the way, it's not dollars, it's more euros, but you know, things are in that value chain. Well, guess what? Things are probably gonna be a little more expensive. Now, for sure, you know, what I mean, when I was watching some of these vlogs, you know, you you'd go to a lot of the typical Cuban places that the locals go to and just the local, you know, um, stuff, you know, it's actually pretty cheap, but when you're doing all the touristy stuff, it's very expensive or pretty expensive. It's expensive. <laughs> it's expensive for Jose's uh, budget, okay? That's all I got to say. But regardless, it's totally worth it. I'm only going for a few days and, um, you know, again, that's what we were been, been doing a lot of planning ahead so that we can, you know, we're very budget conscious, okay? Obviously, you know, for obvious reasons. You guys, again, if you guys watch my channel, you guys already know. But regardless, guys, you know, to me, the reason I'm making this video right now is just to like let you guys know that um, even though you guys have been watching uh, my videos in the last several days and you guys probably think uh, I'm still here in Merida, I'm actually not. I've actually been in Cuba since uh, the 19th and I get back on the 22nd, okay, which is a Sunday. So again, I don't know when you're watching this, but you know, regardless, it'll be right after I get here, maybe a day or two after I get back. So. You know, this video is just to just let you guys know um, a little update of uh, as to what I'm doing, what I've been doing, where I'm gonna be going, and uh, you know, just to guys, let you guys know, it's all part of the whole motivational Monday stuff that I'm always doing, the motivational stuff and the hard work stuff. Where again, guys, you know what I mean? Like, even though I'm, it's my birthday, I'm going to Cuba. You know, there's a lot of festivals going on here. You know, on the 15th and the 16th, you know, th those are like the Independence Day of Mexico. I got my clients, you know, that are here also my clients that I deal with you know I have so many things I have to make a gazillion of these fucking videos to make sure that I have enough videos to get you know so that I have daily uploads even though when I'm not here I gotta you know do extra work I gotta make sure Lambo is uh, babysitting you know someone's gonna babysit him I gotta make sure that he's uh, well fed and you know do all that stuff I have so many things that I gotta do but yet I'm still making these videos why because again you know this is what I love doing you know what I mean like I, I I, I, I wouldn't feel comfortable not doing these videos at all. You know what I mean? Like I wouldn't feel comfortable just taking a, a week off and not doing any videos and using, you know, my vacation or my birthday or whatever, you know, as an excuse to not upload. No, it's like, it's the complete opposite. It's like, you know, I got to work even harder, you know, in order to make sure that I get to enjoy my time there. And um, even though I'm enjoying life and I, and all this is, uh, you know, part of my enjoyment of, uh, you know, the life that I live right now, it's also part, I got to, you know, I'm, I'm very self-conscious and self-aware of the fact that, you know, this is also work but it's not work because this is what I chose to do and I'm getting to do it so you know one of the things that I've always wanted to do you know why I became a chef to begin with you know a gazillion years ago was that I wanted to travel the world now once I really became a chef and I you know went uh, down that path of uh, living that life I soon came to realize that the whole traveling the world thing isn't necessarily uh, as uh, approachable or isn't necessarily a uh, um, you know, an, an option per se, as a lot of people thought, you know what I mean? So for example, I would have had to, you know, 
you know, um, you know, worked on a cruise ship. I would have had to have, uh, you know, picked a lot of uh, unglamorous um, jobs or unglamorous um, avenues in order to really travel the world as being a chef. And again, I just had different things happen in my life in my 20s where I just wasn't allowed to really, you know, I wasn't, you know, my circumstance didn't like allow me to just go and travel the world on my own and do a lot of these things. But, you know, now come full circle that I am where I am today and I've been making a lot of these Merida Mexico videos and all this other stuff, I've realized that, damn, I, I really love traveling. I love the whole cooking and food aspect. I love everything about all this stuff, you know, so that's why I'm doing so. Not only have I, you know, doubled down, tripled down on making videos out here in Mexico, but again, now I've planned a trip to Cuba. I'm planning on filming as much as I can so that I can make more travel vlogs, more travel videos, and uh, this is only my first real step in this whole journey. Well, actually, it's my second step because step number one was Mexico, step number two, Cuba. Step number three, I don't know what country I'm gonna land in, but I'm definitely gonna be landing in a lot of countries, whether I'm just traveling through or even living in them, regardless. You know, this is only the very, 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 very beginnings of this wonderful, massive, you know, cool adventure that I'm about to really embark on. Now, again, for those of you guys that know me before I even started YouTube, or some of you guys that have started watching me just a couple years ago, a year and a half ago, you guys already know that this, this journey has already taken many, many shapes and forms and taken many different uh, paths and different many, um, it's morphed into, you know, a bunch of different uh, things. And um, now this is just another growth you know another another part of the growth for me and for the channel and for everything and uh, I'm very very excited I'm very much looking forward to all of this and I really can't wait to um, literally you know board the plane get to Cuba and uh, enjoy Cuba and really get to start um, I don't know man just disconnect for a little bit and um, and just in, I mean for real man I, for me as, as, as a Cuban you know again my parents are Cuban even though I was born in the US you know to me it's it's uh, one of those uh, weird uh, things you know what I mean where it's like I, I'm so crazy excited to go I'm a little scared I'm a little um, you know um, full of anxiety I'm, I'm full of excitement and happiness and, and joy and it's just so many emotions and um, to me it's like I, I can't wait to to you know just experience the whole thing and and just everything it's gonna be amazing and wonderful in fact I can't wait to do this so much that I'm actually recording a pre video to let you guys you know just a little bit of insight onto you know what's going on in my brain before I head out and uh, I just hope you guys enjoy this I know today's video has been a little bit all over the place and uh, just talking all kinds of babble rambling on you know about my little trip to Cuba and shit but I don't know. I just felt that I, I, I wanted to make this video and uh, and I, I just, I had, I don't know. I just feel like you guys are really going to enjoy this video. And um, more than anything else, the real reason I really made this video is just to, you know, just let you guys know where I am because I'm sure that some of you guys that by, by the time that you're watching this have been wondering where I've been for the last several days because obviously I've been off the grid for reals in Cuba. No internet. That's number one. But, you know, more importantly than anything else, you know, uh, just to give you guys a little bit of a, of a teaser as to what's to come. Because again, guys, you already know I'm recording tons of footage and uh, I, don't know, I gotta edit it, don't I? So that's what I'm gonna be doing and uh, it's gonna be really cool, really awesome and uh, and I can't wait. I can't wait to get back and uh, show you guys everything and uh, and who knows, you know, maybe a, a couple days after this video you'll get your first uh, Cuba video. but. Whenever you get it, it's going to be exciting for you and for me equally. And um, I can't wait to share my experience with you, just like I've been sharing everything else with you guys. And, uh, you know, this is only starting. This is only beginning. Uh, and I can't wait to continue this journey, no matter where it takes me. As long as you guys are there with me, it's going to be awesome. That's for sure. So, guys, with all that said, I know it's been a mouthful, but I just wanted to give you guys all a big thank you, a big shout out. I want to give a big shout out to all my patrons. I want to give a big shout out to all my contributors. I want to give a shout out to every single one of you guys out there that helps, you know, um, make sure to keep this show going. As you guys already know, um, I don't get much money from YouTube and I'm always getting demonetized and that whole thing. So it's really you guys out there that help keep this going. Um, you know, again, whether you're sending Bitcoin or Lambo food or no matter what you're, you guys are doing, it really, 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 really always helps. And uh, again, even if all you're doing is just leaving a thumbs up, leaving a comment, watching the full video through, watching an ad, sharing, everything that you guys do is, um, again, you know, not only does it help, 
the video, but it, it, it helps my channel, it helps everything. And uh, again, guys, thank you so much for all the help. Thank you, it's a lot of awesome teamwork for sure. And um, again, if it wasn't for you guys out there watching these videos, well, I wouldn't have an audience to make these videos for, so it kind of defeats the whole purpose. So again, that's why you guys are more important than anything, all right, than I can have, or literally, because if it wasn't for you guys out there, I wouldn't even be here. Also, I have no idea if I have yet to get to 2K subscribers, but I know I'm very close, and who knows, I might get to 2K by the time you're, by the time I'm in Cuba, or as you're watching this, or whatever. But again, we're, gonna, we're all just constantly celebrating that because wow, Wow, I'm at 2,000 subscribers. I know that might not seem like a lot, but to me, that's a lot. It really is, and it's uh, very humbling and very awesome, and uh, just wow. I want to give a shout out to all you guys out there, you know, checking out my store, checking out my website, um, ordering t-shirts, um, doing all the things that you do, and, um, and I think that's it, guys. I'm going to get out of here. So, guys, don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please, please, please don't forget to stay awesome, and last but not least, I love you guys, and um, I'll see you guys manana. Peace out. Oh, and uh, thanks for watching. Hey guys, guess what? Me and Lambo are still here. We haven't left yet. You know why we're here? Because I want to tell you all about this new store that I just opened up. Yeah, that's right. It's our new sponsor as well. Let me tell you a little bit more about it. So, as you guys can see, this is the store. I just opened up the store, I don't know, about a week ago, and um, I'm gonna be selling all my merch and all of our stuff here, whether it's Lambo stickers, whether it's, you know, mugs, t-shirts, jackets, you name it. We got all kinds of stuff that you guys can buy and um, help support the show. Now, you get to have your very own shirt or your very own Lambo sticker, and if you guys want any special request on things, for me to put in the store, then please, by all means, let me know, and uh, we'll get our graphic artist, you know, on top of it. Yeah, that means you gotta work, Lambo. All right, guys, thank you so much. Love you guys, and I'll see you guys manana.